Okay, so the uh, camera ran out of memory um, six minutes into that last video. So <clears throat> if you're uh, if you're watching this video, wondering how we got here, <laughs> maybe see if you can find the previous video on my channel and. Uh, it's the first six minutes of this one. Anyway, so we were uh, about to uh, clamp this uh, second bar clamp to hold the bottom together while we're while we're assembling the uh, and cleating the bottom. So I'll put in the. Uh, Yeah, it just fits. Put in the uh, cross piece. Maybe I'll take a swipe on the plane to clean that up just a tiny bit. There it goes. There. Anyway, so yeah. So it's a pretty simple setup. It's just a uh, wedge and a block to push on. It's just really that easy. I want to try and get the uh, boards down where they need to go before we uh, wedge it too tight. See if I can get a block of wood to hammer on rather than whacking directly on the bottom. All right, yeah, let's come down. So you can see these are, uh, let's brought this in pretty tight here. And these uh, slight, slight, uh, slight openings in the seams have come up pretty tight now. <clears throat> Yeah, so that looks good. And um, yeah, what I'll do is uh, when I'm, well, you'll see it when we go to put the cleats on, we'll uh, actually clamp the spot where the cleat is going on just to make sure these, uh, these bottom boards are aligned. Uh, just so, you know, we'll clamp them uh, width-wise to get the, the boards in alignment, but the uh, rivets should pull everything right down tight anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, anyway, yeah, so the next thing to do is uh, start putting some of these uh, cleats on. So we got the stack of cleats here, one through uh, nine. And you can kind of see by the shape of the stack there, the, uh, the alpha dory has a sort of uh, cod's head and mackerel's tail. You can see how the, the cleats up towards the bow are pretty, uh, they widen out pretty quick. Whereas the cleats towards the stern, you know, you've got that long tapered stern. So, yeah. Just set these on the bottom where they go. Make sure we got them all in their proper positions. I got the arrows drawn on the bottom of them along with the numbers to show, make sure that I got them facing in the right direction. So I made it over to 
lost her during uh, lunch time the other day. Uh, swung by Rose Marine and was able to <clears throat> pick up a box of um, ring nails. And those will be what we use to nail down the frames, or nail the bottom to the frames. Uh, but these cleats get rivets. Two rivets on the ends, and then uh, rivets where the, uh, where the cleats uh, meet the bottom. Uh, meet each where each board meets the cleat. Seems a little slow on the uptake today, but uh, maybe give it a squirt of oil if I can find the oil can. That's around here someplace. Well, anyway, let's see how it goes. And uh, worst comes to worst, we can always drill them by hand, I guess. All right, so I just placed the, uh, like I said, these uh, cleats have already been Cooper Nalda on the bottoms. I did that the other day so that it's uh, dry now. Okay, that looks like a good uh, a good fit there. So we're ready to uh, we're ready to drill and rivet. I'll grab my uh, ball peen hammer. And got to get the backing block. All right, so uh, yeah, these are the, here's the box of rivets, copper rivets, and then these are the uh, burrs that go on over the rivet. I 
like to catch those so that I can uh, recycle the copper if possible. There you go, and that's a pretty decent rivet there. <clears throat> See if we can zoom in on that. First fastener in the boat. Not a bad looking one either. So, yep, yeah, we're well on our way to having a sailboat now. Just a couple more. <laughs> Maybe a thousand of those more to go, and uh, we'll be out there on the ocean. Yeah, really, it's just that easy. Just one, one at a time until uh, until you're raising the sails before you know it. Yeah, so the uh, the nails and burrs are uh, number 10 copper nails and the number 10 burrs which are a little bit more than finger tight you can push them on if you you know, you know give a good push but It's a lot easier on your hands if you just tap them on with the, uh, when you go to snip off the, um, the end of the copper nail. So when I'm, uh, <clears throat> when I'm cutting these nails, I'm cutting them with a little bit of material up above the rivet. So I'm able to mushroom that head out and, uh, Form a decent rivet head. So I want to leave myself a little bit of material to work with. And I'm just uh, bringing those rivets just up uh, snug with the bottom, you can see. Then when you actually do the riveting, when you're actually forming the rivet head, <clears throat> it'll pull that, pull that head up a little bit tighter even. With the uh, tighter with the bottom. Now it's quite a bit easier if I. Uh, riveting on the side of the boat. You know, I'm on riveting on this side of the center line. I'm over here. Riveting on that side. I'm over there. Because otherwise, this is a pretty uh, heavy backer. Heavy backer. I actually got a lighter backer that um, I use a lot more on the planking. Um, but I'm not really able to get a knee or a hip against this one. So I'm using the slightly heavier one, but it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of work holding it out at arm's length. So 
Just try and get up as close as I can to limit the fatigue. Oh, those are going in good. Bottom's still clamped nice and tight here, so that's good. You want to keep an eye on your wedges, make sure nothing moves once you've uh, started banging on the bottom, but yeah, no, it's looking good. So the next thing to do is uh, keep on drilling and screwing and hammering until you get that bottom. Rivet it on. Are you recording? Mm. <laughs> what, did you guys want to do something? Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. looking good. Shaping up nice.
it's been kind of a uh, wet week, cool week. Sun's not really out today, just kind of overcast. It hasn't rained, but it's been raining almost every other day this week. Trying to get the uh, backing block as close to <clears throat> as close to where I'm nailing as possible. And get it. Get a nice smooth set of it on the on the uh, bottom. Is that for Ruth? First fastener is in the boat. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so there's the first cross cleat riveted on. <clears throat> now we just got nine more, eight more to put on. And like I say, here's the uh, the wedge that keeps the bottom tight together and uh, you know I, when I get down to the ends I may end up uh, moving these bar clamps down so that I'll be sure to get those ends in nice and tight or maybe I'll just throw a little uh, squeeze clamp on them. I've got some that are long enough to span that bottom section there but anyway yeah that's the idea just uh, keep at it and And uh, that's how you build a bottom, dory bottom. <laughs>